In the last few years, everything Scandi has taken off in Britain. Noir dramas, design, and this month sees the opening of a blockbuster exhibition all about the Vikings at the British Museum, where we're led to believe they're not just marauderers, no, they're a very civilized race, with one exception, this particular foodstuff, which is very barbaric. I'm here with Jonas Orell from Scandi Kitchen. Why is this such a terrible, terrible food? Well, according to a Japanese study, it has the foulest smell of any food in the world. We got fermented Baltic herring. It's called Suströming herring. Suströming. Is that correct? Thereabouts, yeah. And what's causing that bulge inside the tin? Well, basically, it's the gases that stem from the fermentation. The, the herring continues to ferment inside the tin. Okay. And that's building up. Okay, so poisonous gases inside there. Yes. A and the smell is so bad, it has been banned from nearly every airline in the world, including British Airways, who think this is essentially a terrorist threat. It is, yeah. <laughs> And that is indeed why we're outside in Hyde Park. We're not allowed to open it inside a building. In fact, the smell is so foul that our cameraman is worried and has taken preventative action. If you come here, I'll show you what he's doing. Say hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Are you very worried? Yeah. <laughs> Time to open it and release the beast. I'm sitting in the wind. Okay. Oh, it's foul. Okay, I can already smell something going on here. Ah! Excuse me. Sorry, a little bit too pungent. It's making my breakfast. Sorry, it was fine at first, and now it's kind of just filling. It, it grows over. Yeah. It's horrible, like that. It really does smell. <coughs> <laughs> oh, so my initial thoughts was it wasn't too bad, but uh, it just smelled a bit sour. Uh, but it just the uh, it kind of filled up, and it just smells of rotting dog feces. So. Uh, Jonas, could you possibly prepare me some of this source drumming? We can do, uh, make an honest attempt at that. It's still, it, it doesn't look very preserved, it looks quite... Everything is quite, you know... And it's not bones, been... Bones and everything can be absolutely eaten. But it's not been gutted either. It has been. It What's really all that stuff? No one is gutted unless you get the gall blood out, but... Um, okay. I'm sure it's absolutely fine, I'm not in it. Okay. There we go. And people in Sweden who have this, they disguise the taste, don't they, with bits of onion yeah, and... Yeah, sour cream and uh, onion and uh, um, almond potatoes and some new potatoes. There you go, roll it up. I was assured that it tasted quite nice. That's strong. That's really strong. I mean, it's strong and it's salty. There's something there, but it's got that fermented. It's some fizzing. It's fizzing fish in my mouth. <laughs> it's not very pleasant. I like strong tasting fish. Yeah. That's not very pleasant. But I think that's, that's why you need the potatoes. You need the sour cream and you need the onion to sort of balance it out a little My personal view. Well, it tasted nicer than it smelled, but that wouldn't be difficult considering it, it tasted of rotting dog poo and nappies but I cannot see how such a civilized nation as Sweden can produce something so vile. 